Oh, all right, all right. Good advice. Nice. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeff. Huh? Jeff. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So we're just going to share in the love of God tonight, and we're just asking people the most important question you can ever be asked in your whole entire existence. Lucky to you. I love God. So let's yeah? do it. Yeah. Let's oh, do it. Awesome, man. Are you guys ready for it? You're on game? I'm ready. Yep. All right, all right. God forbid. But tonight was your last night upon the earth. You hit your head upon the pillow, oh, and you never wake up again. Hey, do, 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 do you know for sure that you think of God in heaven? I really hope so. No. That's bad. I really want to know. I hope that God accepts me for who I am. I love to have a good time on the weekends, but I love to have even better time at work on the weekdays. So I hope he's where he's there for me. I want to party with God in heaven, and I know he's willing to. Because God loves everybody. He's ready to open up to anybody. That's a bit loud, sorry. I'm not going to give you the mic, bro. I want to sell this man. I, I love God. I have dreams about God. He's like, always there for me. I pray for God. I love you, God. He's always there for me. I'm just, I live good knowing about that. Yeah. Alright, well, so who's next? That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful, man. Oh, Jet, that's okay. I've got your heart there, man. I'm exactly, really exactly. Speak for that, bro. Speak for that. Yeah, man. Alright, who's next? Well, you. Chazza, what are you trying to do? Why? Why? Yeah. Because as much as I've got not great friends, I do great things. That's right. Because you know what? I'm going to interrupt. God and looks past all your sorry, mistakes. Sorry. Now go, explain. She's back. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Thomas, Thomas. I'm not bad. He's Christian. I am too. What about you? Do you, do you say yes? You say no? You say I don't know? Yes. Like with, with, tonight was your last time on earth and you'd be heaven with God. Hell yeah. Why not? Why not? Come on. Come on. That's disappointing. What makes you say no? Like, is there any particular reason or something in your heart that kind of is like, like, or I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Alright. I just think, like, God, it doesn't matter about the amount of belief because. If you, if you believe a little, if you don't believe at all, he's always open. He's always open. open. I thought you said you read in your Bible, you didn't pray. I love the Bible. I read the Bible when I was five. Hey, I've got a follow-up question to ask that. He, so let's do another question, right? So your spirit leaves your body, right? Because you're truly a spirit, right? You know, you're just inhabiting, living in this body, you know, yeah. to experience this 3D realm. You're, you're truly a spirit, and this body is like clothes that your spirit puts on, right? To walk around. Pretty cool, huh? But anyways, going back to the point, right? If if you were to get to the judgment day, right, and God was to say, why should I let you in? What would you say? Well, I'm going to say this one in people. <laughs> We're going somewhere with this. We're going you know, you know, I haven't always been 100% thankful to God. But I know that He's always open to listen in my hardest times. And when I do turn to God, it is my hardest times. And I do feel guilty about that. But God is always loving me. I know that. I know that. The God I believe in, accepting of whatever, you know, 100%, he'll always be there, but he'll love it if I can give him mine. So what would you say, bro? What would you say? Well, so I say, say you, because I know that you're here to take me and lead my soul to a better pathway. Outside of this earth, outside of this life, I know But that you're ready to do Does everyone make it their own? Does everyone enter into heaven? I, I believe there is no place for those that aren't, that can't justify a spot in heaven. Why that's part they justify a spot in heaven? Because they bad, bad people. They're bad, bad people. Bad, bad people. Yeah. And that's right, because, you know, God has to be like, you know, I love everybody, but I don't love people who do really, really bad things, you know, like, pedophilia. <laughs> bad things, crime, crime. Things, but your crimes, they're bad, but when it, when it's at the expense of another person. But haven't we all done crimes against God? So wouldn't that make none of us really happy? I mean, God said if you've looked upon a woman and asked after her, you've already committed the act, you've already committed adultery in your heart. So you don't actually have to do the physical.
black with a woman to sing, you can already just do it in your mind. That's that's why it's heavy. That's why. I mean, like you don't have to murder someone, to put an axe to someone to kill them. You actually kill them. If you just have hatred in your heart towards them for no good reason, you've, it's like you've already done the deed. Like, you know, so maybe God is working on making a better environment for everyone. God, but if you see what I'm saying, he's got a higher standard. Like, we might think one way, like, oh, it means good this way, but, but God's ways are so much higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. So what's God's standard of good? So maybe there's a massive standard of good, and nobody gets into heaven? No, 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 no. That, that's not what the way to Preach, preach, preach. I want to understand this. Let's go, let's go, yeah. I want to go home. I want to pray to God. Yeah. I want Him to forgive me for my sins. Yeah. All committed sins. Yeah. I want to forgive Him for mine. Yeah. I want to make it to a better place. All right. All right. All right. What are you I saying? Mean, I mean, yeah. so I'm, what I'm saying is that none of us are good in God's sight because God's standard of good is moral perfection, meaning to never miss the mark or sin once. But yet we've all sinned, right? That's right. We've all missed the mark. That's what the Word of God says. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the good news is that God sent Jesus to save the world. Jesus! No, not to condemn the world, Jesus. but to save the world. But the Word of God says that he neither believes in the Son of God as eternal life, he neither believes not as the wrath of God in life. So there's, there's, there's punishment for people who reject God's forgiveness. Because God's arms are open to all of us. He wants all of us to be in heaven. But not everyone comes to heaven because not everyone receives his forgiveness. They want to live their own life. They want to be God over their own life. They want to go their own way. But whatever the reason, whatever their, their fancy is, their, whatever their flavor is, you know, we all got our own you know, things that, that make us you know, tick. But ultimately, it's like, have we made God God over our lives? Has he become our Lord and Savior? And that not only means God save me when I'm, when I'm hurt, when I'm down, but he's actually Lord. Now it's actually obedience, it's better than sacrifice. It's actually I repent for my dead works from things that are causing death and destruction. And I let God bring forth fruit in my life. You know, because when many people, you know, Jesus said, many people say on judgment day, you know, Lord, Lord, and you say, you know, depart from me, I never knew you. And these are people who are professing that they love God, that they believe in God, they're Christians, but they're living double lives. You know, they're living double lives. They're living double lives. Jesus, I have so many friends that just remind me of Jesus. And I think, you know, I don't like to say Jesus, the Lord's name, in vain, but when you, when you meet someone that makes you feel great about yourself, that makes you feel like you're open to anything, like you can, you can express yourself as you want to be, they deserve Jesus. And Jesus not in a way that disrespects his name. Jesus in a way that upholds his name. But you put it to him, you're like, bang, Jesus. I love Jesus. But dude, I really hope I'm accepted when I pass away. So I love Jesus. If that happens to bloom, maybe, you know, I don't know if you'll be accepted with that. If that happens to die, maybe we'll love that. But I really hope I, I pass away in a way that Jesus is like, this man has lived the life that he wanted to be. And that's that's belief, that's faith. Go for it, mate. Come into heaven. Give me a hug. Let's go. Right. Right. Let's say, let's say God forbids an heart. Where's your last night on the earth? Do you think that's where you know you want the holy angels of God picking you up from, like your dead body in bloom? Is that well, a holy place? Is that where God wants you, you know, to be? It depends what's morning bloom. You know, I don't want there to be a big crack, a big scene. You know, I want it to be a special moment with the angels where they're like. He was just trying, he was just here because his mates brought him here or something like that, you know. He got caught up in something that his heart wasn't into. So it's like, I go and blue, but that happens. And then the angels need to be sad. It's like, I'm going to have a passion. 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 I'm
any quicker at Bloom, they're going to be getting caught up. They don't deserve it. I don't, I don't, I'm never going to step foot in there. Just, 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 just hear the word, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a parable in the Bible, right? It talks about the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins, right? Now, you want to be one of the wise virgins. I'm they, not they, a virgin. No, no, it's just a parable, man. It's just a story that helps us understand the truth, right? So, we want to be like a wise virgin. We want to have our oil spots up. I am a virgin. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. happy if God takes me into his hands and he says, come with me, we're going up to the sky. Yeah, but I'm ready for that. I don't mind, you know. I'll live my life, I can live till I'm 80, I can live till I'm 25. Yeah. I'll be like, if God decides I'm ready for it and I'm deserving of that chance, I'll be like, sure. Because I know it will lead me to a better life. Yeah. A better life outside of the search, outside of the service. Don't you want to have that assurance in your heart, that knowing? Because you're like, oh, I hope so, you know, I hope if he accepts me. Like that's kind of like I'm uncertain. I don't know. So how do I get that? How do, you how do I get that assurance? Have you received God's Holy Spirit? I don't know. Did you believe in God? I know you believe in God. I believe in God. I don't receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I don't practice. The so way bro, I should. when you receive the Holy Spirit, that's the seal. That's the mark that you know the angels and the demons can see as well. Oh, that's one of God's person. He has the light of Christ in him. The Holy Spirit's in him. That's the one who takes us up into heaven. The Holy Spirit and the angels of God. So the, the way that we know that we're saved, that we're going to heaven, is by receiving God's Spirit. How do I get God's Spirit? We do that when we confess our sins before God, meaning repent. And, and repentance doesn't mean, I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry, God, and then I continue to do it. Like, imagine, ways to I, I, imagine if I was like punching you in the face and I'm like, sorry, God. So I, I wouldn't be sorry, would I? No, no, no. Just, would I just you know, make a mockery? That'd make me sad. So what do we do to God if we say, God, oh, repent my sins, and we just do it over and over and over again? That's just, that's just a mockery, right? So we stop so that behavior. We, we will repent. And it's not like God saying, do it all by yourself. He's saying, come to me. I want to take the heavy burdens. I want to give you the strength to overcome. It, it, is, it is a you know, that struggle. It's a battle. But I'm there fighting alongside you. And I want to give you the victory, right? So God is so gracious. And you can't express that enough just how loving and kind he is. And he'll give us the victory. But, but we've got to want the victory as well. You know what I'm saying, brother? Because that's half the battle, saying, I'm done with this. And I want the victory. So, so it's repentance and faith. It's like two sides of the same coin, right? Repentance and faith. So we, we repent from our dead works, from things that displease God, and now we walk towards God and put our faith in Jesus. So Jesus. repentance and faith in Jesus. Yes. Yeah, what he did feel on the cross, you know how he died for your sins? I know. He died protecting, but he thought was right. So that you can be saved. You can be two things. You can go. What do you want the Holy Spirit? I want the Holy Spirit. I'm ready to do anything. I will. I will run away from whatever life I'm living yeah. and I will live a good, hard fought Christian life that teaches many values and lessons along the way. So what's holding you back from right now giving my heart to God? Well, I live with my mom. I have a job. I have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. Does God see me working at KFC or does he see me working in the eyes of God? Do I go to a church? Do I, do I repent people for their sins? I need to go to a church and I need to go on one of these boxes. You know the ones with the, the screen that you can see a little bit but you can't confession box? Confession box. I need one of those. Yeah. I really need to just let it all out. I want to let you know that you don't need to go to the confession box to confess to God. You know, His glory is always watching. It is it's everywhere. Oh, it's always he, he fills up the whole heaven and the earth. There's nowhere where you can go up on the face of this earth where you're hidden from the face of God. So you can confess to God right here in your car, in your bathroom. Whatever means, God needs you, he you. In my room? That's everything, bro. He knows us in your room, bro. He sees it all. He sees everything, man. He's so big that our puny little brains can't even try But what if you have a big brain? Well, then maybe you can find him. Is he like, what I see right now, is he that big? Is he just one big face looking down? Because that's making me feel really tricky and scared. But I'm not scared. 
Ah, I'm happy see that he's it. here. He's yeah. always here. And we need to think about it. You yeah. know? As long as God's watching and we can picture God. And we always keep ourselves, I love you got to love the love of God in your heart. I keep do ourselves love God. in the love I can't of God. Because God, God is love. God is love. God is good. We always, we always keep that in our heart. Exactly. Else. So I feel like whatever I've done, at, at any time I turn to God, yeah. you know, I feel like He's always got my back. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but I feel like, Ronan, you need a little bit more of the severity and the seriousness of God in your life. Because although He's good and He's just, you know, merciful, He's also just. He's also serious, you know. Like when He says something, it's like, hey, like, like, like do it. Like there's consequences if we go the wrong way. Not because God wants us to have those consequences, but right. He's just, right? You know, like what we sow, we reap. What we put out, we're going to get back. If we're, if we're sowing watermelon seeds, hey man, we can expect juicy watermelons to come up in your crop. Watermelon. But if, if we're sowing poison ivy into the ground, I mean, don't expect those juicy watermelons to come up. What are you going to get? You're going to get poison ivy, things that are going to kill you and destroy you oh, and give you issues. Yeah, me the man. That's why we turn away from the poison ivy and let's... Watermelon! Watermelon! Yes! Watermelon! <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Yeah. I love watermelons. <laughs> so I don't know, but I just wish God was... I want to see God. 